Hey, what is up guys? Mr. The Reverts here, and we just got done with the second MLG event for Call of Duty World War II. MLG New Orleans definitely was very, very entertaining, especially the championship game for sure. Gotta give props to TK and LG. Both teams played amazing, but TK did come out on top, so again, congrats goes to TK for taking home that W. Now, over the course of the weekend, I kept seeing a lot of former Call of Duty YouTubers and pro players give their opinions about the game and just the general direction of the franchise as a whole because the total views for MLG NOLA was a little bit on the low side. Even though the Grand Final series was arguably one of the best ever in Call of Duty history, however, a lot of people were still giving the game a hard time and saying the game is washed, the game is dead, etc, etc. But I'm not trying to make any excuses because yeah, there still are some things Activision and the devs could do to increase the viewership, but still, like, you gotta take into consideration that Sunday had a lot of stuff going on such as football, the Overwatch League, I think CSGO also had something going on this weekend too, so again, I think this weekend was pretty busy in terms of media consumption, and also usually whenever Optic gets kicked out early in the tournament, the viewers are gonna be a little bit low because Optic has such a big following and audience, and I feel that some of the pro players and teams need to do a better job of getting involved with Call of Duty and the community as a whole, like that's why Optic has one of the largest fan bases in the world because every single member has a great personality and Hex does a very good job of making sure the players and members produce content on YouTube and also stream on Twitch too so it is kind of a guarantee that the viewership numbers are going to be a bit on the low side because a lot of the teams in the winners bracket don't have that large of a following compared to Optic or FaZe because they don't actively produce content and the fans can't really connect with those teams but with that being said there could also be some stuff on the games end on Activision's end to ensure that there is growth in the competitive scene and they have just now kind of started to do that I guess because yesterday there was a daily order that said if you watch something in the theater then you were able to earn a free supply drop and 500 social score but I feel that if Activision wants to grow the competitive side a bit more there needs to be better rewards for this there needs to be some more incentives for those players to get up and watch competitive Call of Duty to become involved with the game a bit more and as you guys may know I'm a huge supporter of competitive COD and I feel that COD could be one of the top three competitive games in the entire world but I feel there needs to be more of an outreach to everyone for sure in order to make sure that is gonna happen and if you are gonna be watching this and uh, you're not a big fan of uh, competitive Call of Duty I highly recommend you go out and watch the next event which is MLG Atlanta I think it takes place like two months from now so again go inside the theater and just watch a couple of the games and see what you think because there are some series like the one we just saw that are very very entertaining and it really does put you on the edge of your seat like I'm not even a fan of TK or Luminosity, but I really did feel like I'm a fan of those teams just by watching them play. So if you think COD is dead, if you think COD is washed, this and that, as of now, no, it's not. I don't see that becoming dead anytime soon. But instead of just saying, you know, the game is washed, the game is dead, come up with solutions to, you know, make sure that doesn't happen. And again, I think Activision and the devs could do something a bit more to ensure that the game is not just basic. The devs need to do more to grow the franchise and increase the numbers of players playing which means listening to the fans and becoming involved with your players for example a lot of players want a faster health regen and quicker sprint out times but then sledgehammer gave us an update a couple days ago talking about the reason why they made the design choice for having slower sprint out times but their answer did not really add up because uh, it was honestly kind of a uh, kind of a cop-out answer I'm not gonna go too much in depth with this because that should be for another video but basically they said something along the lines of they wanted to have a slower sprint out time because this game is boots on the ground and I guess it makes for a bit more realistic game but every other boots on the ground COD game has had a faster average sprint out times besides World War 2 and the devs should at least consider increasing the times and doing some more tests but back to the MLG event here's a picture of the crowd for the final series and you may notice it is a little bit on the low side and this had a lot of players and the people saying again that COD doesn't have the large audience that it used to have but still there was a lot going on today and I know the New Orleans Saints had a football game today that was kind of important so that could very well be a reason why there wasn't a lot of people and again circling back to Optic people want to see them play and since they got eliminated early not too many people showed up for this event but I'm gonna pay attention and see what happens for Atlanta maybe the numbers will go up a bit more but we're gonna have to wait and see what happens so guys tell me your thoughts about this in the comment section down below also drop a like if you guys did enjoy thank you for watching until next time I'll see you later.